Hello and welcome back to Projects in Java. Today we're going to continue on our text editor. We're going to create our file browser. So this is going to be a menu where the user is able to create a new file or choose an existing file that's in their folder. So first let's go ahead and create the class. So new class. I'm going to call this file browser. And this is going to extend JPanel. And implement Action Listener. Here we're going to have a label. And this is just going to say file list. And then we're going to have two buttons. One to create a new file. And then another button to open an existing file. We also need a button group. And this is going to be the button group that holds our existing files and a file name directory. Now let's create a constructor and this one is going to take a string argument. Now I'll call that dir. We want directory to be equal to a new file. So we'll pass that dir. And we'll call directory dot make directory. And this will actually work if the directory exists already. And if it doesn't, it'll make the new directory. Then we're going to create a J panel called file list. This is going to be equal to a new J panel with a grid layout. And the size of that is going to be directory dot list files dot length plus three. And by one. And the first thing we'll add to the file list is the label. And we'll initialize the button group. So BG equals new button group. And we'll create a for loop for every file file in directory dot list files and so for every file in this directory we're going to create a new radio button We call this radio equals new j radio button and we'll get the name of the file so file dot get name
and we'll set the action command of that radio button to radio dot set action command. And that takes a string, so we'll pass that again the name of the file. And we'll add that to the button group. So bg dot add radio. And the last thing we'll do is add it to the file list. So file list dot add radio. Next we'll have another panel. And we'll call this new panel. And so in this panel, we need to add a text field. So let's go up here and add a new text field. And that'll be new file tf equals new j text field. And then we'll add that to this new panel. And then add the new file button. Next in file list, we'll add the open button. And then we'll add the new panel that we just created. And we'll add the file list to our file browser panel. Okay, so now let's test what we have so far. So here in the logging class, we'll remove this print line. And instead, we'll add a new file browser. And we'll pass that the user, so user tf .get text, And so that'll either get the directory or create the directory for that user. And then we'll call the card layout dot show this. And we'll call this FB file browser. And we need to add the key here. So we'll add FB here also. And let's launch this. So user one. Log in with the password, log in. And so here we have an empty file list. Now let's go to our source folder, our project folder. And you can see here we have a user one folder now. So let's create a new text file here and we'll call this file one. Let's go to the file browser class. And here in the text field, we'll make this size 10. Let's launch this again. Log in with the same user. And here we go, the file one text. And this is the file one that we have in the user one folder. Okay, next let's go back to the file browser. And we're going to add to the action perform method. So first we're going to add an if statement to check to see if we're opening an existing file. So if get source is equal to open. And we need to get the parent again. So above this, we're going to call login. Login is equal to cast login to get parent. And here we're going to add a class that we're going to create later. 
and this is going to be a new editor. And we're going to pass it the directory. So directory dot get name plus slash slash plus the button group dot get selection dot get action command and the key we're going to use for this is editor And then we're going to call login.cl.show. And call login. And the key we're going to use is editor. And so next, if e.getSource is equal to new file, and we'll create a string called file. To make this a little easier, this is going to be equal to directory dot get name and so here we're gonna add the user input so new file tf dot get text. And then the extension, so plus txt. Next, we're going to do a couple of checks. So if new file tf dot get text dot length is greater than zero and So here we'll check to see if the file exists. So we'll call a new file and pass out the file name dot exists. So if the new file text length is greater than zero and the file does not exist, we're going to do the same thing we did earlier. So add new editor. We'll give it the file name. And the key for the card layout. And we'll just copy and paste this. And so that finishes the file browser class. In our next video, we'll create the editor class.